Hello everyone, my name is Titan Take 100 and welcome to the Okami Squadron channel. Today we're going to be going over unclosable panels and join panels. These can be used for any time someone joins a server. If you want to show rules or maybe updates on your server, you can do this. It'll make it so they can't exit it until they click a certain button. Usually if you want to do like a rules panel, you can make it so that after they're done reading all of them, they have to click accept. And if they don't, it'll just constantly keep popping up. We'll also be teaching you guys how to make it not show up again after they join and accept so that it doesn't constantly keep coming up every time they join. So if you guys find this video helpful, please consider leaving a like, subscribing for any of my future uploads, maybe hit the notification bell to get notified for any of my future uploads, and let's get on into it. So to start, I just have a quick setup for a panel name, all it is is unclosable, title, I have a command just so I can access it if I need to, and just one singular item. But to make this unclosable, what we're going to want to do is add the panel type of unclosable. So if you look, all the panel types are static, no command, no command registration, unmovable, and unclosable. Unclosable is pretty self-explanatory. It'll prevent people from closing the panel if they click out of it or if they press E, anything like that. And the only way to make it so it'll stop opening is to run CPC inside of a command section. So to do this, all we're going to do is go down, type panel type, and then unclosable, just like that. Make sure it is in the same indentation of all of the perm, rows, title, things like that. That'll now make that unclosable, but now we're going to want a button so that we can actually exit it. So inside of the item, I'm going to add commands. And then if we do CPC, that'll make it so we can close it. And if you don't know what CPC is, all this does is closes the panel through command panels. But now that that's set up, that is pretty much all that is needed to make an unclosable panel. But this is just a quick and easy setup. This isn't for joining or anything like that. So now if we go back in game, and now once we're in game, if we do slash CP unclosable, you will now see that we have to click this to close it. If I try to exit, it'll constantly reopen. And then once we click the item, it won't open again. That is the extreme basics of unclosable. Now I'm going to show you how to set this up for on join or things like that. So that when a player joins, it'll pop up. So in the config, you will find open on login. This is for any time a player logs in. So for this, I'm going to need to get my world name. So for me, my world name is Jer Snow. This is just an old test map I was using. So all we have to do is come in here, change this to Jer Snow, and then the panel name. So we're going to do unclosable. And just like that, now whenever a player logs in, it will then open the panel. So this is just for when a player logs in. If you'd like to do this per world on the wiki, you'll find open on join. This will do it when they join a different world, which will then show the same thing just only when they move worlds login is only for when they join the server this is useful for let's say just a single server setup or maybe if you're just using a hub or something like that now if we go back in game do slash cpr and then i leave and rejoin you'll now see it opens up as soon as we join now if we try to exit nothing happens click it it goes away the only thing with this is now every time we leave and rejoin it will open up again this can get very annoying for players due to the fact that every time they join, they have to click out of this, which does get very annoying. But if you'd like to make this a one-time thing or maybe use it for like updates or things like that, you can take away the player's permission for the panel and this will make it so it stops opening. So I'll do a quick example on how to do that. So back in the actual panel, what we're going to want to do is add another command before the CPC. And what this is going to be is it's going to run a luck perms command. So for me, I'm using luck perms. It is a free permission plugin. You can use any permission plugin you want. I'm just going to be using luck perms because that's what I have in this example. All we're going to do is console equal, which will run the command in console. And if you do slash LP user, CP player name, permission set, and then we'll do for this, we're going to want to change the perm and we're going to change this to, we'll do rules. And then we're going to want to set command panel dot panel dot rules to false. This will make it so they do not have permission for this panel anymore. And anytime they rejoin, it will not open. So once you do that, you can save it, go back in game, do slash CPR. And now if we leave and rejoin, you'll see the panel opens. And then once we click, you see it got rid of the permission for me. So now if I leave and rejoin again, you'll see the panel does not open. 
So that's very useful. Let's say rules, things like that. That'll make it so it does not open. Players won't get annoyed and it is super easy. If you want to make it so it comes up again, all you have to do is change the perm rules that we changed to something else. So if you're doing updates, you could do like update one, update two, update three. And then every time you just change the console command that has the command panel dot panel dot whatever perm you put, just change that to the new perm that you created and it'll open every time a new update happens and then they can close it again. But those are some examples on how to use unclosable. Hopefully you guys found this video useful. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribing, maybe hitting the notification bell to get notified for any of my future uploads. If you guys would like to check out our Minecraft server, there'll be a link in the description to our website, which has all the information for anything you need. It also has free templates for you to download and use for command panels. And you can view all of my recent uploads on the website as well. Thanks again for watching. Hope you're having a great day and I'll see you next time.